Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com. Hope you're okay. This is a regular look at what's out to buy in the shops. And again, it's a little bit quiet. It's um, just one movie and four box sets. So we'll zoom through these today. Please, if you're new to the channel, I do these little information blogs and obviously videos, reviews, etc., etc. So please, if you're new to the to the channel, please push the all subscribe button. That'd be great. Push the bell notification so you know these little uh, specials and information blogs are coming out. And please, thumbs ups are always nice. Always nice to be appreciated. Nice to know. I mean, you get a number of views, obviously, but it's always nice to get a thumbs up, isn't it? It just takes you a split second. Anyway, let's have a look at what's out. The one film out today, it's got two titles, though. You may know it, depending on what territory you're in. It's either called Le Mans 66, or it's also known as Ford versus Ferrari. Uh, a 12 rated. It came out just before Christmas, I think, at the cinemas. Uh, 9 99 DVD, 14 99 Blu-ray, and 24 99 on 4K. That's currently in the UK. Please check your where you are for the prices. Two hours and 32 minutes, so it's a long one, an action biograph biographical drama. And it's based on a true story of an eccentric, determined team of American engineers and designers led by automotive visionary Carol Shelby and his British driver, Ken Miles, are dispatched by Henry Ford II with the mission of building from scratch an entirely new race car with the potential to finally defeat the perennially dominant Ferrari at the 1966 Le Mans World Championships. Stars, well, of course, Matt Damon, Christian Bale, John Bernthal. Uh, Bernthal, yeah, if you pronounce that right. My apologies, John. Any good? Well, yeah, I mean, it did okay, actually. It did have a 98 million budget, so quite a lot of money spent on it, but it did get back 226 million at the box office. Uh, critics were kind to it. Rotten Tomatoes hold, it holds an approval rate of 92% based on 319 reviews with an average rating of 7.75 out of 10, which is really, really good. The website's critical consensus reads, Ford versus Ferrari delivers all the polished auto action audiences will expect and balances it with enough gripping human drama to satisfy non-racing enthusiasts. There you go. Metacritic, yeah, they quite liked it as well. The Metascore rating assigned the film an average of 8.1 out of 10 based on 47 critics and it did score anywhere between as low as four though it did get four and ten out of ten um the film stages christopher show but was a sort of this was a sort of uh, a popular view 8.3 out of 10 he said ford versus ferrari is an easy film to scoff at there is nothing new here and there is no debate in that fact instead we have a compelling story told in simple intelligent fashion it deserves a spot on the list of great racing dramas and the list of the year's most entertaining dramas. So, I mean, all the critics were quite agreed. What about the public? What about the people who went and paid the money at the cinema? Well, yeah, again, did very well. Internet Movie Database, it's got an 8.1 out of 10 rating. MGM rating, well, my little summary for this one. Uh, accents apart, there's some dodgy accents in this. It was well acted and superbly shot, and the two and a half hours did pass very quickly. Very much entertain, very much to entertain you. So yeah, I did give it a seven and a half out of ten. Which, if you know my scores, is pretty much near, almost a ten as far as uh, my rates are concerned. Anyway, that's out to buy now. If you want a really good racing car movie, that's Le Mans sixty six, aka Ford versus Ferrari. And the four box sets on TV, we'll go through these. Inside number nine, absolutely fantastic series. Series five, fifteen rating. That's out to buy. $14.99. It's a comma, as you know, a black, dark comedy, drama, horror. Six There's always six episodes. Steve Pemberton and Reese Shearsmith present a fifth anthology of films with their style of dark horror humour. From night time to half time, from the magic of Christmas to the mysteries of magic into the minds of monsters. And in this series, this this series five, we've started alongside a Pemberton and Reese Shearsmith is a wealth of talent, obviously, as you'd expect, including Stephanie Cole from Doc Martin, Jenna Coleman, obviously Victorian, Doctor Who, Cadiff Kerwin from Mary Queen of Scots, David Morris, the other Berlin girl, etc., etc., Ralph Rittle, the royal family, etc., Fionn Whitehead, Dunkirk, Maxine Peake from Funny Cow and loads of other stuff, Phil Davis, Paul Dark, and many, many more. Is it any good? Well, Overall on IMDb Internet Movie Database, the series all 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 series get about eight and a half out of ten. This one this one scores anywhere between seven point two and eight point six out of ten per episode, so it's not too bad. And we do have series six out in twenty twenty one. Yeah, I did enjoy it. Some some episodes are better than others, but it's really good watch. Right, the next one we're going to look at 
this is just series two of Split, which uh, I quite enjoyed this. It's a 15 rating. It was a BBC legal drama, Split Series 2, 14.99 on DVD, six episodes. And yes, it's about the Defoe's, a family, are back at newly merged law film Noble, Hall and Defoe. And Hannah's latest case, the divorce of the UK's most powerful celebrity couple, is set to put up put no noble hail default on the map as hannah fights one of the most public cases of her career she also fights a private battle to save her own marriage following the devastating revelation of nathan's betrayal her formerly rock solid marriages begin marriage is beginning to crack as she finds herself in a passionate affair with christy will she take a course that could end her marriage or can she have it all of course starring nicola walker annabelle Scioli, fiona button deborah finley stephen mangan barry atzmer Many more, created by Abby Morgan and written by Abby Morgan and Matt Jones. Any good, yeah. I mean, it, both series got an overall rate of 7.5 out of 10. This series, too, the episodes are getting anywhere between 7.8 and 9.3. My little review of it, yeah, my little summary. This is a great family work drama from the BBC. Formulaic plots, but a really good watch and well acted with some good plots and subplots. Although the songs added, which seem to be norm these days to create a vibe or atmosphere, are not really needed. Bog standard salt light drama at its British best. Yeah, I give it a seven and a half out of ten. So another I must have been kind, another high score. And the next one is Shakespeare and Hathaway series three. This is a BBC classic, what BBC do probably the best, an afternoon crime drama. 1799 on DVD, 1999 Blu-ray. And you get 10 episodes, so you get good value for money as well. And stars, of course, Mark Benton, Joe Joyner, Patrick Walsh and McBride. Any good? Well, the third series of the hit BBC show is combining corpses, comedy and cracking mysteries. This quirky crime drama has won the hearts of over 200 countries, proving very popular, more money for the BBC. Perhaps you should go and get a go be a subscription channel now, eh? Who knows? Now that Lou has passed her private investigator exams and Frank's tidied himself up a bit, there's no stopping them. But murder, kidnap, blackmail and infidelity still abound in the pretty tourist town of Stratford-upon-Avon. An ageing heavy metal star with a pat with the devil, a Shakespearean museum full of deadly secrets, a King Lear story set in a carpet warehouse. Welcome to the birthplace of Bard, where low-life criminals get caught up in deliciously high drama. Yeah, it is what the BBC do best. Afternoon crime drama, all good stuff. Overall, it's getting a 7.5 out of 10 rating. And the episode score anywhere between 6.5 and 8.3 out of 10 for Series 3. And I've dipped in and out of this. And I do quite enjoy it when I watch the odd episode. And you don't have to watch it as a, as a series. You can just dip in and out all the time. And the last one I'm going to look at, is what I haven't watched actually it was this, it was a sky based drama, a Cobra series one is now out to buy sixteen ninety nine DVD twenty two ninety nine Blu ray. Uh, this is seven episodes and it's a political drama set in the heart of government during a crisis, well British government during a crisis that threatens to engulf the entire nation. Well, we've been, we're there now, aren't we? In times of national emergency, a team com comprised of Britain's leading experts, crisis contingency planners, and the most senior politicians assemble under the name COBRA. I think they're in action at the moment, aren't they, sadly? With the aim to coordinate the government response in those meetings, we'll see how a government works under extreme pressure to make difficult decisions quickly and watch as the consequences play out on the ground in the worst hit parts of the country and in the iconic boardroom in the heart of Whitehall. Hey, so maybe a little bit dry i'm sure it's a little bit better it stars william bale richard dormer of course robert carlisle as well any good well overall the series has only got an internet movie database racing of 5.8 out of 10 which isn't great but the episodes do score 6.7 to 7.2 and they do plan a season two in 2021 so cobra is your thing or you've heard of it or you want to watch it and get it that's out to buy so that's today's uh Offerings on stuff out. We've got uh, on the film front Le Mans 66, aka Ford versus Ferrari, 9.99. 14.99 and 24.99 on 4k we've got inside number nine series five 14.99 on dvd only at the moment i've no other prices split series two just on dvd again no blu-ray or 4k 14.99 shakespeare and halfway series three 17.99 dvd and 19.99 blu-ray and cobra series one or season one if it's Sky based, I suppose, rather than series. The other three are obviously British based things. Uh, Cobra season one, 1699 DVD, 2299. Blu ray, let me know if you want to buy any of these or if you love these or whatever you think of these things. I say they're all pretty. I say Cobra is the only thing I've not watched, so I can't judge, but everything else is very, very watchable. Anyway, 
please let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, for all the latest movie, TV, drama, news, etc., etc., please follow me on Twitter at nostalgia underscore movie. I try to follow, follow everyone back on there. And I'm on Bernard and Ian. We're on uh, Facebook at Bernard and Ian with links to movie game nostalgia.com. My little website for old rare DVDs, posters, and board games and posters from the 90s and 2000s. So if you can manage a couple of minutes on there, absolutely fantastic. You, you know, just have a look around. You don't have to buy anything. It's all, it's all footfall, isn't it, and analytics, which I haven't got a clue about, but uh, I believe it's important. So if you can spend a, a few minutes just to have a, a wander around there, much appreciated. Please let me know. All links and stuff are all below. So there's loads of these videos and vlogs and specials and movie review specials, etc., out there. So... Please give me a watch if you're feeling a little bored or you, you're stuck at home, obviously. But what I want you all to do, as you know, is look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family and keep an eye out for those that might be a little bit vulnerable that live nearby you as well. You know, let's uh, let's look after each other in these hard times. Anyway, it's Bernard saying thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. And keep, keep healthy, keep, keep warm. See you all again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.